Hi right there. Welcome back to another video about the Edun cartridge for the Commodore 128. So this particular video is actually inspired by something I saw recently on YouTube. Um, if you happen to follow Adrian's Digital Basement, as I do, you might have seen this as well. But Adrian received a Commodore 128D computer for repair, but it didn't come with a keyboard. So he's working out a solution, and his solution is to take a ratty old yellowed C128 flat keyboard and solder a 25 pin connector actually back to back to it so that it can be used with a Commodore 128D. And naturally he succeeds in this, um, but I thought, well, that's kind of hacky. Maybe I can do something with the Edom cartridge just using software. So what we have here is uh, my Commodore 128D with the Edom cartridge sitting at the boot screen. And we're just gonna go into the uh, DOS shell. And in the DOS shell, just doing a normal thing here with the normal keyboard. We're going to CD to the even base directory and um, pull up a directory of that. Nice. But what if we wanted to switch over to something like, say, this nice black mechanical USB keyboard instead? Maybe we don't have the keyboard for our C128E, or maybe it's old and ratty and donated by an old flat C128. Well, we'll just unplug this and set it aside. And we'll take our modern mechanical keyboard and I'll connect it to the USB hub that's in turn connected to my Edom cartridge. And just like that, without any real fanfare, now we're uh, typing on our mechanical keyboard. So here's a directory. Um, everything works. Function keys, modifier keys, Alt key, Commodore key, Control key, uh, works in the Linux TTY. So here we are in the Linux TTY, typing the INXI command to show the stats about our Raspberry Pi 02W that we're using. Exit out of that. Um, <clears throat> press the F3 key to enter the browser. Um, inside the browser, we can use the inverted T keys to navigate around. We'll go to the um, Frantic Freddy 2 disk image and mount it. And now if we CD to our D drive where we mounted the Frantic Freddy 2 image type directory, we can see we have the two versions of the game there. Um, but what if this mechanical keyboard is too oversized for our desk? We already got a lot of junk there. Maybe we want to use this little mini USB keyboard instead. So just to demonstrate the hot swappability, we'll unplug the mechanical keyboard and set it aside. And in its place, we'll plug in this little mini USB keyboard. And again, just that simply and without any real fanfare or anything, we're right back where we left off and using this keyboard. So now we'll just type load the uh, Frantic Freddy 2 executable file to launch the game. Switch to the VIC-2 monitor output, and there you go. A one-minute solution to a missing Commodore 128D computer. Keyboard. You still need a computer. <laughs> Thanks for watching.